without knowing the context. Yes. The Learning Differences Fellowship is a two-year fellowship where we seek to see leadership and expertise around learning differences. Learning differences are something that we all have. Our brains are all like their own little ecosystem and operate in their own ways. And we all have different strengths and weaknesses, everybody. And so we're thinking about how can we actually design our classrooms for kids who haven't had the best learning environment in the school so that they can actually do their best. And by doing that, we're actually supporting all learners. So we're working currently with 13 different network partners and 15 teacher coaches around the network. A way that I like to think about the purpose of this fellowship around learning differences is that we know that kind of across our different organizations, we were recognizing that we were pretty good at reaching roughly 80% of the kids that we were working with. And there is about 20% of kids where their learning differences were something that wasn't really fitting with the way that we were teaching. What I felt that I needed in my practice was how to address those students that you just don't seem to be able to reach. And this fellowship uh, seemed a really good opportunity to learn how to create tools that could help you to do that. No longer about uh, who belongs and who doesn't, but accepting that like we all belong, but just like in different parts. What we seek by seeding leadership is that each um, network partner has at least one learning differences champion that can trickle down the knowledge, skills, and provide the mindsets around how we can support students' learning differences in the classroom. When teachers do have these kids in their classroom, do they consider this a problem issue or do they consider this a strength and an opportunity for um, how to differ? I've really started to think a lot more about student advocacy, giving them the power to know what kind of learner they are, so what kind of experiences they need to create for themselves, whether or not someone else is going to do it for them. Each child coming up with their own individual goals and knowing how is it that I learn and how do I um, what do I need to do in order to get to my goal in my specific individual way, the way I learn? To start happening. They are the leaders in this collaboration because we've met only once in person and worked seven months remotely and this is the second time. They've shared resources, they've also gone to events to present sessions together. The collaboration and just the relationships they had, it's, it's very, very strong. Every month we're on the phone talking about um, what's going on in Nepal, what's going on in Pakistan. And we're constantly sharing different resources. So if we're working on like a coaching professional development session, we might share that and give feedback on it, go try it out, practice it, be able to learn and, and collaborate on that. Teachers need to understand what their own learning differences are. I get this global understanding that learning differences is not exclusive to one part of the world, but it's actually something we can all share. It's something we can all fight for. We're meeting here to kick off the second half of the fellowship, where it's to really plan how we want to motivate and invest our partner organizations around learning differences. When we come together, what we come to realize is that despite the different contexts we serve in, the challenges we face are so similar, and so the solutions we can come up to are also so similar. I want you to think more specifically for one particular student with a learning difference, how will this impact look like for that student by December? And what the group helps me to understand how to apply what I learn, and not just myself, but how to transmit the knowledge to my fellows, to the coaches, and essentially to our program. One of the reasons why I had given my full heart to have the NLP here in Manila is because I wanted to reach a wider audience. This is the largest Super Saturday event in the history of TFP yet. And it's because of you guys and your interest and our co-teachers. This Super Saturday is amazing because it's a goal coming into action. We're really equipping and investing people in learning differences. And it's not only within the partner organization, it's also externally. There are teachers from different schools coming here and we're going to reach them. You are going to read the mindset, discuss with your partners in the group, and then you are going to it gave me a lot of hope seeing where the teachers are with exploring learning differences and 
it also made me really excited to know that we are now like starting this collective work and impacting 6,000 students. We've just been given the seeds to plant in our own country, but I think it's our responsibility to grow it. And I want to continue this fellowship. I want to continue what we've learned and what we've gained from this and take it further.